Love must be sincere. Hate is what is evil. Cling to what Am is I good. therefore your enemy? Because Romans I tell you the 12, truth. Verse 9. Galatians Above all else, 4, verse guard 16. your heart. For everything you do my God falls turns from my darkness into light. Proverbs 4, Psalm verse 23. 8, verse 28. Love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy. Do it not conform not to the pattern it is of this world. Proud. But be it transformed by others. the renewing of your mind. It is not self-seeking. Romans 12. It is not easily 12. angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always preserves. Corinthians 3 verse 4 to 8. Some would say that their favorite poet is Shakespeare. Robert Frost, Emily Dickinson, Langston Hughes to Maya Angelou, but my favorite just happens to be the very first, God. I'm more spiritual than religious. I don't believe because I was told to, I want to. I want to believe in something bigger than myself. Without the words of God, I wouldn't know how to formulate my own. I wonder who this is. Guess what? What? My prom just got delivered today. Really? Yes. Wow, you're going to look so beautiful in this. Thank you. So, did you get your tux yet? Yep, the fitting is next week. So just make sure you get a dark red bow tie I already bought and have my dress so there's no going back in the color. I got it, I got it. Red bow tie, yeah. So, did you finish your poem for this night poetry thing yet? Um, I have about a few more lines to write and then I'll be all good to go. So, so what's it about? Um, it's a... Uh... A surprise? Yeah. Okay, so if you should tell anybody, it should be a girlfriend. Nah, I think I'm gonna keep it a secret till I get on stage. Okay, well, do you wanna catch a movie tonight? Uh, I, I can't, I'm kind of busy tonight, but I'll probably see you later. Alright, All right, bye. So it looks like you're going to finish the year pretty strong. Thanks. That's nice to know. Thank you. No, it's all you. You earned it. So, you feeling ready for college? I mean, I guess I'll, I'll know how it's like when I get there. That's true. Everybody's experiences are really different. Especially when you're thinking about going to med school eventually. Yeah. Besides health and medicine, what else are you interested in? Um, I mean, I'm not really into the whole medicine and health thing that much. Really? Well, my parents have always wanted me to be a doctor. But what about your dreams? Like, what do you actually want to do with your life, if, if you don't mind me asking? Well, I want to do a lot of things, I guess. 
Can you give me an example of some of those things? Things that pertain to music. Well, I wish you would have told me this a lot sooner. Why? So you could apply to a school with a better music program. Once I become a doctor, I, everything should be fine. I should be able to pick up music later on as like a part-time thing. Didn't Dr. Dre do something like that? I'm just kidding. I watched straight out of Compton. But the time is never stopping. Only gave the kid one option. Go to school and get a job, but it's so common. All around me, they slaving for the bills. But I knew I wanted more. I told my boys that we could make. Mom? Of course you would. Um, let's go outside so we can talk. Okay. So, why did you why did you come back? I thought I was never gonna see you again. Well, you know, I have some family up here, and I'm just mostly visiting because I kind of miss the place. What is there to possibly miss, though? Well, I kind of miss hanging out with you because when we were younger, like boys, we always used to get into shit. And now it's like, we're growing up and all the fun is getting set down a bit. Yeah, I miss all of that too. I can't believe by this time next year, we're gonna be in college. I know, it happened like so fast and out of nowhere. Like last time I remember, I was in detention because of Miss Wilson's class. Yo, I remember that. You had no chill whatsoever, like. I had to put that lady in her place. She was being mad disrespectful. <laughs> <laughs> um, are you feeling cold? Can I be honest with you, Wyatt? Yeah, of course. Go ahead. Uh, I'm I'm gay, and you know my family's not really accepting of that, so it's gonna be a while before I find anyone. And by the time I find someone, I can't bring them around or introduce them because you know how they are. I have something else I kind of want to tell you. It's kind of weird. Okay, go ahead. You were the first guy I ever liked. I know I shouldn't have said something. I'm you sorry. were too. What? You were the first guy I ever liked. So wait, are you are you gay? Bisexual. Oh. Um, yeah. So I guess liking guys is another thing we have in common. I guess so. I don't know how long you're going to be in town, but it would be really cool if you could come to this open mic thing I'm performing at. Oh, I would love that. Okay, um, well, what's your number so that I can send you the name of the place and the address? Uh, oh, 857. It took me this long to realize that I wasn't because I spent my whole life conforming to shapes that I've never really fit in. I can't but think of this strength that right here is because apparently having real emotions with the idea of masculinity. All right, folks, coming to grace us with his presence next is Wyatt Morrison. Hey guys, my name is Wyatt, and it's a wonderful opportunity today for me to be in the lineup of amazing artists. I just want to say that. This took a long time for me to write, and I just finished it yesterday. It's so. okay, baby. You got this. Thank you. Shout out to my girlfriend, Imani. All right, so the name of this is Prisms. It took me this long to realize I was in a prism. Maybe because I spent my life conforming to shapes that I never really fit in. I've lived my life the way my parents want me to be, but now I just want to live life as me. It's hard enough being a black boy going on to a man. Do I have to sacrifice more dignity? Is that a part of the plan? I can't help that I'm different. I can't help that this pyramid is the only place that I feel safe, so I stay hidden. Imagine this. A black boy with a clear soul. He comes into this life as one thing, and he comes out as a rainbow. 
I sat in the church for many years, but no amount of holy water could wash away these kind of tears. The pastor says he loves all who comes in, but I know that he personally seeks out the ones with a special type of sin. I understand that your God can do no wrong, but can you understand that I've been praying for so long? And the only voice I could hear was the one in my head telling me that I can't change who I am. Instead of trying to fix what ain't broken, why don't you just accept my truth? Don't shut me out, leave the door open. It's not what's inside of my head that's killing me. I've been faking this strength for years because apparently having real emotions doesn't go along with this idea of masculinity. So screw whoever says boys can't cry. Screw whoever can't accept my identity. Tell me who to love and how to won't get rid of all your hate. So what does it matter if I walk in a curved line or if I just go straight? Love isn't a binding contract that states you can only give your heart to someone who shares different genitalia than you do. To me, love is letting your feelings for another human being be known against what anyone else will say or think. You have to let your true colors be shown. So, where do you want to eat? You know I'm picky and I do not like McDonald's. Not even the fries? Not even the fries. Um, excuse me for a second? Mm-hmm. Hey, that place was really beautiful. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Thanks for inviting me. So, where are you headed? I'm just heading back. Uh, um, listen. We should try to, you know, hang out before we... Um, I'm actually heading back tomorrow. Wow. Really? It was really nice seeing you, though, and... I'm going to try and come back as soon as I can. Oh, it was nice seeing you, too. And have a safe trip back. Thanks. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. You, too. Bye. All right, bye. So, who is that? Oh, um, he's just one of my friends from when I was growing up. Okay. You ready to get some food? Yep. You sure you don't want to have him come with us? Um, he has somewhere to go, so he could probably come with us another time. Okay. Yeah.